Hello, and welcome to this presentation on the Clean Slate Program. I'm San Francisco Public Defender Jeff Adachi. Our office started the Clean Slate Program in 1999, and since that time, we've helped more than 20,000 people clean up their criminal records. We created this presentation to help you understand how the process works and what you need to do to assist us in clearing your criminal record. We'll explain all of the steps involved, so please listen carefully. After watching this video, you will know if you are eligible for Clean Slate, where to begin, and what you can expect after completing the process. Let's get started. Hi there. I'm Deputy Public Defender Velasco Wynn, and I'm part of the Clean Slate team at the San Francisco Public Defender's Office. The first thing we need to know is whether you're eligible to have your convictions dismissed. First, you cannot be on probation or parole. Next, you cannot be currently charged with a crime or serving a sentence. Finally, your conviction must be from San Francisco. While my colleagues and I will get to know your individual circumstances, there are three steps everyone must take to begin the program. Getting the Clean Slate process started is simple, and you can complete all three steps in the same day. Can I get some information about Clean Slate? Sure, is this your first time here? Yeah. Okay. First, you will need to fill out a one-page application for the program. Applications can be obtained at the front desk of our main office or online at sfpublicdefender.org. You show your ID and they give you a rap sheet. It's free. Next, you will obtain a copy of your rap sheet, which is a record kept by law enforcement of your arrests and convictions. You can get your rap sheet by going to the Hall of Justice Police Department Identification Bureau at 850 Bryant Street, room 475, on the fourth floor. The Bureau is open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. The Hall of Justice is located one block away from the Public Defender's Office. You will need to bring your photo ID. Finally, you will return your rap sheet and completed application to the Public Defender's Office front desk. Once we receive your application, you will receive a letter from us in two to three weeks explaining the next steps of the process. Let's review the three steps to accessing the Clean Slate program. Step one, fill out the Clean Slate application. Step two, obtain your rap sheet. Step three, deliver your application and rap sheet to the Public Defender's Office. Cleaning up your criminal record can remove barriers to jobs, educational opportunities, and college financial aid. I want you to meet a client who cleaned up his record in 2004 through the Clean Slate program. Today, he holds an advanced college degree, has published three novels, and runs a nonprofit literary series. Please meet Joe Clifford. How did Clean Slate help you? The people at the Clean Slate program worked with me, and as a result, I was truly able to have a second chance. Today, I'm the author of three books, A Husband and a Father, and I know none of this would have been possible without the help of the people at the Clean Slate program. That's amazing. Would you recommend Clean Slate to other people? I would definitely recommend the Clean Slate program to anyone worried about their past standing in the way of their goals. So now you have a better understanding of the eligibility and benefits of the Clean Slate program as well as how to get started. Let's hear some common questions that people have about the Clean Slate program and how it works. Keep in mind that these are general questions. You will meet with an attorney who will provide more detailed information based on your individual circumstances. Just to be clear, once my record is dismissed, I don't have to tell my employers about my conviction, right? That's correct. In fact, California law prohibits most employers from asking about arrests that did not lead to convictions, as well as convictions that have been dismissed. If someone runs a criminal background check on you, they would see the charge you once faced, but also that it was later dismissed. You will be able to legally tell your employer and anyone else that you were never convicted of that crime. I was arrested but never convicted. I don't want people to even know that I was in police custody. Is there a way to erase my arrest record? In some cases, the Clean Slate program might be able to seal and destroy your arrest record. Maybe you were arrested because the police thought you were someone else. We can go to court and ask the judge to erase that arrest. Once your arrest record is sealed and destroyed, you can legally state that you were never arrested for that crime. So I was convicted of a pretty serious crime a few years ago and did time in state prison. All I want is a job. Is there any way I can clear my record? If you were convicted of a felony that could have been charged by the prosecution as a misdemeanor, also known as a wobbler offense, 
the Clean Slate program may be able to get your conviction reduced to a misdemeanor. If you went to prison, you cannot get your conviction dismissed, but you may qualify for a Certificate of Rehabilitation, a court-certified document stating that you are now a law-abiding citizen. You should also be aware that when applying for public office or seeking licenses or certification for some state jobs, state agencies are allowed to consider your complete criminal history, which may include dismissed convictions. These jobs include private security guards, school employees, healthcare workers, and other careers involving vulnerable people, including children, the sick, or the elderly. While cleaning up your criminal convictions will definitely benefit you, there are some limitations. Here are some examples of the things Clean Slate cannot do for you. Dismissal does not prevent an old conviction from being used to increase the sentence of a new conviction. If you are convicted of crimes in the future, the court might impose stiffer sentences because of your old record, even if it's been dismissed. Dismissal does not permit a person to own, use, or possess a firearm. If your conviction bars you from owning, using, or carrying a gun, Cleaning up your record will not change that in most cases. Dismissal does not relieve a person of sex registration under Penal Code Section 290. If you are required to register as a sex offender, that process will continue even if your record has been cleared. However, other forms of relief may be available. No matter what your circumstances, we look forward to working with you and helping you move forward with your life. So now that you know a little more about the Clean Slate program, we encourage you to apply. You can get more information on the Clean Slate program website at sfpublicdefender.org, where you can stop by any one of the Clean Slate program walk-in clinics here in San Francisco. You don't need an appointment, just drop in during the walk-in hours. Thank you for watching this video, and our Clean Slate team looks forward to serving you.